Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I filmed like a sit down chit chat video the other day and I really enjoyed filming it. So I wanted to sit down and share with you guys some of my current favorite products. Just so I can share with you guys in detail some products that I've really been loving. You've probably seen quite a few of them in my vlogs, but I wanted to kind of consolidate everything into this video and I'll have everything linked down below, of course. I'm gonna talk about some TV shows. I have kitchen stuff, beauty stuff, fashion, home stuff. So lots of good favorites and quite a few of them are like fall themed, you know? So yeah, I'm really excited to talk with you guys about some of my favorite products. Before we get too far into the video, I do wanna thank Dossier for working with me today in this video. I think it's perfect for a favorites video because I really do love Dossier. I've worked with them before if you've never heard of them before they make vegan cruelty free paraben free fragrances so perfumes and they make a lot of ones that smell just like your favorite luxury perfumes but for a really really great price I think they start as low as like $29 and they have a lot of your favorite scents on their website where they make similar ones. I have two new ones here, so I thought we could unbox them together. I'm super excited. When you open it up, it comes in this nice box. It says iconic scents, designer quality, no markup. The first one that I got is Woody Sandalwood. This is what the card looks like that comes with your perfume. It tells you the notes and everything that are in here and it tells you what perfume it was inspired by. So this one was inspired by Le Labo Santal 33, which I've heard so much about. Haven't smelled the actual perfume, but I wanted to get the Dossier version. Here's the bottle. I think the bottle's super aesthetic. It looks good on my vanity and it is made of 100% recycled materials. It has this really nice magnetic Top, which I absolutely love. So the top notes on this one are cardamom and violet leaves. I like to spray it on the card to get a little scent. I definitely smell the like natural, it's like natural but sweet. I really, really like that. It's a really great scent. So this one is woody sandalwood, like I said. This one is powdery coconut. Here is the card for this one if you're curious. And the top notes are cardamom again, pistachio and bergamot. Super excited about this one. I love all things coconut, so I always like prefer to get something coconutty. Let's give it a spray. Yeah, this one definitely has like a baby powder, but like a little with a hint of sweetness smell to it. I am so excited to have both of these new scents. Thank you so much, Dossier. And I know that you guys will also love them. They last all day long. Literally every time I wear the other one that I have, my boyfriend says I smell good. They also have a new payment method that allows you to earn store credit when you are shopping. So if you select catch at the last step of your checkout process, then you can also get a $10 store credit just by checking out using catch. And then after that, you get 10% store credit for every order that you place with Dossier. They were nice enough to give me a code if you guys are interested in giving them a shot. I couldn't suggest them more. So if you wanna get 10% off, my code is KristaCanady10. I'll have it here on the screen and I will also have a link down below. And if you've never ordered from Dossier before, they do have a 20% off like first time order. So you can put the 10% on top of the 20% and get 30% off your order, which is such a good deal because it's already a great price. But yeah, I love my Dossier perfumes. I really, really do. And I know you guys will love them too. So I'm so thankful to be working with them. Make sure that you check out the description box for my code and link. And with that being said, we can get into the rest of my favorites. Let's start with something fashion related because I'm literally wearing it. This is a Hanes men's crew neck. It's like $10 on Amazon and it honestly is just the coziest comfiest thing i think i got it in an xl so that it would be like super oversized which it definitely is and i want to get it in multiple different colors it's just the perfect thing to throw on if i want to go on like a walk or if i want to wear it as a cover up to the gym or i've even worn it with like jeans and like a collared you know crew neck under it so that it was more fashionable i also got this last year and i've watched it like a million times and it is still holding up so i want to order a bunch of other ones 
So I just thought I would include this as one of my favorites. Also, I'm sure you guys saw I did get a pair of Ugg slippers. I've always wanted to be like a slipper girl who wore slippers around her house. And I saw these, so I picked them up. They are, I don't know the name of these. I'll have them linked but they're just a little bit different because they have more of a platform than their normal ones do which are just flat i really like how platform really elongates your legs and just makes your legs look a lot longer and of course if you've had uggs before then you know the inside is just so comfy so cozy and i like that they're slip on slip off so that i can just throw them on super easily but it also makes me feel like I have my life together a little bit more when I'm working from home and have on my little house shoes. Staying in the realm of shoes, I've really been into the cowboy boot trend as a lot of us have. I officially have a brown pair, a black pair, and a white pair, and I love all of them, but I thought I would just show you the black pair because I got them most recently. These are from Princess Polly. They have the nice pointed toe and they're kind of like a fashion boot combined with cowboy boot. Like I don't think they're just solely cowboy boots. My brown boots are cowboy boots. These have a more of a fashionable twist on them, especially with the like, is this like crocodile pattern? But I really like a good cowgirl boot with like a baby heel on them and they're perfect for the winter. So I will also link the white ones I have down below. They're super popular and these from Princess Polly, but you can literally wear them with a skirt. I wore my brown ones the other day with jeans like over them just so the toe was pointing out and I thought it was really, really cute. So everyone needs a good pair of boots for the fall and I really, really love these ones. Staying in the fashion realm, one last thing I have is this cute purse from Amazon. I absolutely love this. It's like a woven pattern and obviously it has this nice long strap, which is pretty much a requirement for me for bags. You can adjust it. It has this cute little adjustable part right here. I know it's winter, so I don't know if like having a white bag is appropriate or I guess it's about to be winter, but I think a white bag just goes with everything. It's got a pretty good amount of space in it and it does have a pocket and then it's just a button closure but it's really squishy it just feels like i don't know it feels really good i think it looks really cute with all my outfits because it's just a nice clean pop against my outfits so this is the bag that i have been rocking this fall i have a few beauty products i want to shout out the first one is this merit lip oil i've definitely talked to you guys about this before i love how this feels on my lips it feels like chapstick it's so creamy and the color all natural a u n a t u r e l all natural is really really great i'm actually gonna put it on now this is what i wear pretty much every day if i'm getting ready as you can see it just kind of gives you like a glossy healthy look to your lips but this color is really great i think with my skin tone it's almost like a peachy pinky nude so i absolutely love this merit lip oil merit has been killing it lately really really impressed with all their stuff next up i want to talk about this charlotte tilbury bronzer i do have it on right now i really like the color and i like that it's not too heavy like I hate when I dip my brush in something and then put it on my face and it's just too much. So this is really, really buildable and I don't have to worry about putting on too much. It's also huge. I mean, this is it next to my face and my hand. Like it's very, very large. The airbrush bronzer, a matte bronzing filter for face and body. And I have it in the shade two medium. I think airbrush is just the perfect way to put it. It literally just goes on so smooth like butter. It doesn't even seem like it's a powder how smooth and easily it goes on your face so i absolutely have been loving this bronzer and it will definitely be a repurchase for me in the future next up for beauty is the way detox shampoo i have really oily hair i have really thin and fine hair so it gets oily really really quick plus i go on a lot of walks i work out quite a few times a week and i don't wash my hair every single day so that means i use a lot of dry shampoo and products and things like that that really build up in my hair and this is the best stuff ever i use it like once a week or so i used it for the first time and my boyfriend thought i got my hair done he was like what what'd you do to your hair like it looks so good i don't even it gave me volume it just really got all that oil and buildup out of my roots that's so gross but it, it really did so it's like whatever was weighing down my hair this just 
got rid of all of it my hair looked amazing the next day yeah it literally says here been on a dry shampoo binge question mark time for a detox yeah like that's me i use dry shampoo almost every day so this just cleans it right out and i could not suggest it more so i have a few household things first up are these knives that my boyfriend actually got for me they are the missin mycin m-i-s-e-n knives having a good knife is such a game changer i have always had just like hand-me-down knives from my family that have probably never seen a sharpener in their entire lifetime and i didn't realize how much of a difference it makes to have good knives if you like to cook it literally makes all the difference in the world it makes cutting everything so much smoother i will say if you get them and you get the men be careful because they obviously come extremely sharp and i did slipped my finger a few times but i got this pretty gray handle and i know it's probably like so random knives but it has made that much difference in my life when it comes to chopping things up chopping up chicken peeling potatoes whatever it has made the biggest difference having good knives also kitchen related i don't have it with me because i swear it's sold out it's the silk almond creamer in the flavor pumpkin spice i'll pop a picture up on the screen it is so good i've tried a few like pumpkin dairy free things and this one is just by far the best the past two times i've been at the store i haven't been able to get it because it's been sold out so other people must also really like it and i will say the macros on it are not bad at all either which is really nice i think it's like 45 calories for a serving but what I like to do is pour it in my glass and froth it up. So it kind of makes like that pumpkin cream cold foam on top and it froths really well. So I cannot suggest that stuff more if you want like a fall twist to your coffee, but you don't want to add all the sugar and stuff to your coffee. It is so, so good. Also on the home vibes, I want to talk about Target candles. I have kind of fallen off the Bath and Body Works candles. They are almost like too strong for me these days. And also, to be honest, I don't have a Bath & Body anywhere near me, so I'm not going to go out of my way to like go to the mall. Just don't feel the need to do that. But I do have a Target, and I have been really impressed with their candles. This one is the Three Wick Vanilla Pumpkin Scented Soy Blend Candle. Usually when I get soy candles, I haven't been that impressed with their like ability to smell up a room. But this one smells up the room so quickly, and it smells so, so good. It's like a pumpkin cupcake scent. Then the other one, I'm sure you guys have seen these everywhere. They're so cute. These, this is the pumpkin bourbon. This is the bourbon pumpkin soy scented candle. Also smells good. It's more of like a sweet scent though. The other one's like a bakery. This one's like sweet cider or something like that. But really the selling point for this one is definitely the canister. I love it because you can reuse the canister. So once you burn out your candle, just clean the wax out, melt it, clean it out, and you have a really cute little pumpkin that you can have forever for fall decor. And this candle was only $10. I remember when I saw it, I was like, this candle's probably $25 because of the packaging. And so when I saw it was 10, I was like, no wonder everyone's buying them. Lastly for home, this is random, but this pillow. You guys, this is the best pillow ever. I got a pack of two off Amazon. I, I could totally be wrong. I think they're the Victoria Beckham Hotel Collection. It's something like that. I'll leave it, them down below, like I said. But these are the best pillows ever. They are so just like squishy but not so squishy that they lose their form and become flat. I just absolutely love them if you're in the market for new pillows. I was a little bit weary by getting them off Amazon and not getting to feel them myself, but they've really held their shape and they're the perfect combination of firm, but super, super soft. So literally this changed my bed. I love them so much. Okay, lastly, I wanna talk about a few shows that I've been watching. The first one is House of the Dragon. If you guys don't know, it's the prequel to Game of Thrones. I did watch Game of Thrones back in college and was so obsessed. It is such a good show. But the good thing about House of the Dragon is you don't have to have watched Game of Thrones to be able to enjoy it. You definitely like probably get a little bit more enjoyment out of it because you can see how everything connects. It's like a fantasy war show, but it has like romance and all that stuff. It's really, really good. Second up, Handmaid's Tale. This is another one that I have been watching forever. They just released season five. Handmaid's Tale used to be my favorite show, just especially the first few seasons were so good. 
it's such a frustrating show like you feel so frustrated watching it but it has these just moments that keep you hooked every single time so really really like that show Hammy's tells like a dystopian society type where a religious group took over the united states and there's war and it's it's a really crazy show and lastly a little bit more light is called tell me lies it's on hulu it is a new show but it's really good it's about this girl who goes to college and meets this guy who's like a total narcissist and it's kind of her story with him and like a love drama but it's also really really good all of these unfortunately are like releasing episodes weekly so i'm not getting to binge anything right now but like i said there's five seasons of handmaid's tale so if you need a new series and you've never watched that you could start from the beginning so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and me talking about just some of my favorite things i like to go through them pretty quickly just to show you guys what i'm loving and why again thank you dossier for working with me today and make sure you guys check out my link down below and use my code to try out some of their scents and with that being said i'm gonna go light a candle and i will see you all so very soon in my next video bye guys